Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to the suspenseful Vaughn Manor, where... Roger and I have been making some plans for the future. Yes, we've been making some plans, Roger and I. If they go awry, I'm just going to blame Roger. But yes, we've been making some plans for the future of this channel. And I just thought I'd talk about them a little bit because I don't have much time to film today. It's actually in the morning, really, really early, and I've got to go to work. And so I thought, you know, I'll just throw up a quick little video talking about some of the things I've been thinking about. Now, one of the things I've been thinking about as you can see from my adventurous attire and my fantastic companion back there, one of the things I've been thinking about is the end of the books that time forgot. Yes, books that time forgot is coming to a close. Uh, next week's episode will be the final episode of books that time forgot, which will be uh, released on Thursday, I believe, if everything goes well. There are a couple reasons for that. Uh, one is uh, I started doing this because of construction on the manor. I packed up all my books, I, or most of them, put them in boxes, and I was going through the boxes of all these books. Uh, at this point, all the construction is done. A lot of those books are coming back into the house. And it's all a big mess. And in some cases, I don't remember what which books I talked about and which ones I didn't because I've done so many episodes of the books that time forgot. I'm like, did I talk about this box? I don't even know. And I don't want to watch all 17 episodes to figure out what I've talked about and what I didn't. And I'm running out of boxes anyway. I think I'm just about done. So I've got two more that I know I haven't talked about. So I'm going to talk about those on Thursday. But that that of course leaves a big gaping hole in my channel. Uh, Books that Time Forgot is one of the most fun things that I do. So it's gotta be replaced by something. And then I remembered, I am no longer bound by the 100 book challenge imposed upon me by the evil Criminali. I broke Criminali's evil clutches and basically I just failed miserably at the cha challenge. And since I failed miserably, that means I can, you know, have hauls again. So, but I'm going to be pretty specific about my book hauls from now on uh, because I've got already got a ton of books. So two things are going to happen. I'm going to get rid of a lot of books. I'm going to unhaul a lot of books. And the books I get are going to be pretty specific types of books. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to unhaul everything. I am going to have some giveaways. Uh, some I'm going to sell. Some I'm going to give away. Some I'll probably just... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I'm going to unhaul a lot, actually. Because I've decided there's just a lot of books I don't need. I could use that space uh, for other things. One of the other things uh, I'm going to focus on as far as purchasing is concerned... Well, two things. First of all, my... Uh, 100 book project, my 100 favorite book project, is actually going pretty well. People actually are watching those videos, which is shocking to me. But that's a fun thing. So a lot of my purchasing is going to go into that, uh, getting fancy pants editions of my 100, my 100 favorite books. And I've actually got a, quite a few of those I, I need to talk about, but quite a few, obviously, that I need to get. So that I'm going to continue to do. But it's also going to be time for Halls of Adventure. Yes, Halls of Adventure is going to be starting up the week after next. Because there are certain books that obviously I do not have enough of and need to get more of. And specifically, that would be vintage science fiction. Like this one. This is Science Fiction Terror Tales. A fantastic anthology edited by Groff Conklin, the master of fantastic old vintage science fiction anthologies. I think I, I think I sent another copy of this, another edition of this, to another bibliophile reads. Uh, but this is my, my edition of that book, uh, which is fantastic. These poor people stuck in these bubbles. Oh, my goodness! 
But yeah, obviously, if you've gone, if you've seen the books of Time for God, obviously I do not have enough of these. And this is where a lot of my collecting is going to be going into these. Uh, because the vault of ancient science fiction, uh, now that the construction is done, the vault is back open. And obviously, I need more of these. So Halls of Adventure is going to be mostly this kind of thing. Uh, vintage science fiction, that kind of stuff. There's going to be some horror in there, probably. There's going to be some fantasy in there, probably. But mostly, mostly it's going to be vintage science fiction. So if you like that kind of thing, join me and my pal Roger for Halls of Adventure beginning the week after next. It'll be a thrilling and adventurous time. Uh, as far as the rest of the channel goes, I've fallen away from some of the things that I wanted to do just because of time and other things that I was doing. I'm going to be continuing my Read Every Book by Stephen King project, hopefully this month, if I can get uh, through Shogun in time. And I might, because that book is just ripping right along. Shogun, man, that book's crazy. And it's great. It's, it's, there's a lot of stuff happening in that book. And it moves, moves at just a, this great clip so far. Shogun. I'm at, what am I on? Chapter 13 or 14 or something? I don't even remember. But it's, I'm having a good time with that. But I, I think I'm going to just tear through that book. And so I should have time to do uh, my next Stephen King. And my Read Every Book by Stephen King, which is going to be this one, Dance Macabre. That'll be fun. But there are some other things I want to get back to. And one of the things... I've really, really wanted to get back to, and I just haven't because of time, is uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs. I read a few Edgar Rice Burroughs books in the great Edgar Rice Burroughs reread, which hasn't been that great up to this point because I haven't read as much as I wanted to. But I'm definitely going to prioritize that because I'm going to be doing more Edgar Rice Burroughs content on this channel just because I don't feel like there's much of it out there. Edgar Rice Burroughs. I don't feel like there's a, a lot of people talking about Edgar Rice Burroughs. At least not as much as uh, this writer deserves, I think, particularly because of uh, his place in literature. I mean, he was a pretty big deal. He's a super pulpy writer. He's nobody's choice for greatest writer in the world. But kind of fun, this guy's writing. And there's a lot of interesting things in his books to talk about. So I'm going to be getting back to Edgar Rice Burroughs, uh, starting with, uh, well, I got to do a video on Gods of Mars, which I'll do soon. And then I'm going to uh, continue on with the Mars and Tarzan series. It's just a bunch of stuff about that author I want to talk about. And I've kind of, kind of gotten away from it. A couple other things I want to get back to, too. One is Frank Herbert. I got to read this book, Children of Dune. Because I read this a long time ago, and I know with my recent experience of reading, um, God, it's probably not recent now, but my recent-ish experience of reading uh, Dune Messiah makes me really want to get to this. Because Dune Messiah was a lot different uh, reading it as an old guy as as it was reading it when I was in my twenties or whenever the hell it was I read it. Uh, so this is going to be a different experience, I think, from the first time. Also, really, really want to get to the. Uh, retro Necro, because I only read a couple Necroscope books, and I really enjoyed them. I, I like Brian Lumley. Uh, again, I read a lot of these when I was younger, in the 80s and 90s. And I don't think I appreciated... I enjoyed the books, obviously, because I read them. But I don't think I appreciated him as well as, as well as he should be appreciated. He's, he's actually a better author than I gave him credit for first time I read him. This stuff is just fun. It's just fun, horror-y stuff. So I got to get to this one. I got to continue the Necroscope series. Uh, another thing I'm doing is I'm going to read the rest of Doc Savage as it was published uh, by Ballantine. Bantam, excuse me, Bantam. As it was published by these guys. And, and uh, I, I read the first one and I'm going to read the rest of them. I read a lot of Doc Savage, but I'm just going to read them all now that were published in this series. That should be fun. And they're short, so I could squeeze those in pretty easy uh, between my gigantic mammoths that I'm gonna be doing. 
uh, next mammoth I'm going to read after Shogun is going to be this one, uh, which I put off. But definitely want to read this one. Swan Song, man. Look at that great cover. That's crazy. Uh, and there was a couple other things coming up. Uh, in May, there's going to be a horror event that's going to be uh, hosted by the Bookish Bryants. I don't think the title of the whole thing or the details have been hammered out yet. Um, but that is happening in May, uh, which is going to be exciting. You know, so a month devoted to horror the way they devote a month to science fiction uh, and the way uh, March is March Mystery Madness, you know, that kind of thing. So that'll be fun. I'm definitely going to take part in that. Uh, that'll be exciting. So whatever, I don't, like I said, the details are still being worked out, but that's going to be cool. And, of course, in June, don't forget about June on the Range, a month devoted to Western fiction. I'm gonna, this is one of the books I'm going to be reading in June. This is another one of the books I'm going to be reading in June. And there's some other books I'm going to be reading in June. Westerns tend to be pretty short. Um, I haven't got the details of this hammered out yet, but it's going to be real easy. Basically, it's going to be either read two short books or more if you want to. I'm going to read a whole ton of them. But to take part, you could read two shorter books or one Western that's 500 pages or longer. That's all that's required. It's easy. Or you could read just the whole mess of them if you want. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read a whole mess of them in June. So June on the range. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, there was another thing that was going on. Uh, a read-along of Conan. Robert E. Howard's Conan. That was going to... But I can't remember when it was going to happen. Shelley Swearingen and I were kind of like talking about it. But now I can't remember when it was happening. I'm going to have to get together with Shelly. Because part of me thinks, was it in May? Because if it's in May, I'm going to have to push it back. Because I got all the horror stuff in May. I don't know. But maybe it was in April. I really have to find out. Because I can't remember. But at some point this year, this is going to happen. where We're going to do a Conan read-along. And I'm going to do it with Shelly. Because you know she has people that watch her channel and read along. So that'll be fun. She's very popular, Shelly Swearingen. Very popular. So yeah, I just wanted to throw out a quick video. It's not even that quick. Oh my goodness. I just rattle on, man, about my adventures plans. But just be sure to catch all my exciting content coming up next week. Sunday Penguin. And got a tag on Tuesday. The very last Books That Time Forgot and Halls of Adventure the week after. Okay, guys. I. We'll catch you next time.